Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sippy Cauldron. I feel like such a professional. I have gloves, I have all of these new fancy things to soap with. I just feel like Christmas has been pretty good to me and I cannot wait to show you all my new stuff because y'all probably won't care about it at all, but I'm thrilled about it. So today I am making the first soap that is gonna launch in 2020. Oh, so weird saying that. Um, but this soap is going to be based off one of the very first spells Harry ever learned, and that is, of course, Wingardium Leviosa, not Leviosa. So if you'd like to watch how I make it and learn how I do it, then don't stop watching. All right. So as always, every soap starts with oil and lye water. In here I have a combination of olive oil, I have coconut oil, I have shea butter, I also have palm oil, castor oil, and I have cocoa butter. So all of those are in there and then I have lye and water in this sour cream container and I'm just gonna pour it straight on in and then I'm gonna blend it up and we are gonna pour this off into three separate colors. I have three different new, oh, so excited. I have three different buckets, and in this one I have titanium dioxide mixed with water. In this one I have tropical teal from Nurture Soap, and in this one I have orchid, orchid purple from Nurture Soap. I'll just try to find it. Um, so we're gonna try to do equal pours, um, three equal batches. So let's see if we can make that happen. Now that that's done, we're gonna mix up our colors lightest to darkest, starting with white, tropical teal, and then orchid purple. Okay, our colors look fabulous. I'm gonna add the fragrance oil, and the fragrance oil I'm using is Lavender and Mint by Crafter's Choice. So I was thinking like if the, if the um, pattern doesn't work, at least it's gonna smell great, so. And I'm just gonna quickly stir these in by hand and then try our new technique. And I stirred this up by hand. All right, everything looks good. Okay, so the soaping technique I'm gonna try goes like this. You have to turn your mold on like a slant. So I have a block of melt and pour behind it to prop it up and then I have it slanted. And then these are like the perfect uh, pours because I can pour straight down the side like this. So that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna just keep doing it over and over. But I'm gonna do blue, white, and then purple. And then I also can't see, so I'm using the camera as my guide and hoping and praying this is working. But it's supposed to, and I probably have this wrong, but it's supposed to make like a waterfall effect. If I have that right, I'm not sure. But that's what the, I think it's called a waterfall effect. I'll have to look it up while I'm editing this video, and if it's wrong, I'll go back and tell you that I clearly said it wrong, so. And then the purple just goes right in like that. Okay, and then we go back to blue. And then you just keep repeating until you have all your batter in your mold.
I'm gonna swirl the top with this uh, chopstick just to add some dimension to the top because I actually have something quite fun planned uh, for the top of the soap. So that looks good. Um, most of it's going to be covered up anyways because if you remember in the scene, um, what are they trying to make fly with the Wingardium Leviosa spell? A feather! So I have feathers to put on each bar of soap. Um, so I'm going to, I don't know, randomly place them. Each bar is going to have a feather if not two feathers. So we're gonna place them carefully in here. Okay. I have enough, I'm pretty sure, to make um, each bar have one. And then I also have these little feathers. So you can have a big feather or a little feather. I'm just counting one, two, three, four, five, six. Gotta get them all evenly spaced out so everybody has the same size bar, you know? This is seven. Eight. Probably gonna have to push some of these bars over. Nine, especially those. We don't want too skinny of a bar and then somebody get too big of a bar. Oh, dropped it. Mm -hmm. All right, this makes 10. And I think I'm gonna try to move, let's wipe this off so our white feathers don't get messed up. All right, we're gonna try to just push some of these over. So we can have nice, even sized bars of soap. Squish these over some more. And then, literally, no soap is complete without glitter. Especially this one. I don't know why. It's just the colors are so pretty. I just it needs glitter So we're gonna hit it with some super sparkles mica from um, Nurture soap and I love this pump. It makes it so easy to spray the glitter and then I don't get in trouble For having glitter everywhere because it really just goes right where I spray it I lied it goes everywhere <laughs> But it could be so much worse. Okay, I love this. I love it, I love it. I really hope the technique that I tried works out well, but we'll come back tomorrow afternoon and cut it and see. Fingers crossed. Beep.